If you like trains, look what I've found. I think you'll like this book. But even if you don't like trains, there's something inside for you. Trains built the world around us. If you don't believe me, read on. And with the help of this book, you'll learn to like trains. Still, there's more to trains. More that few of the modern world would expect. Passenger trains have all but died in the western United States, but freight trains remain as a sign of the railroad's past. And in, in Europe, passenger trains remain strong. But the train is more than just some machine, just as the book train is more than just a book about the said machine. The train is perhaps the first great machine, and with it and its black coal, its inhuman cold metal, and its fire came fear. Quote, early Victorian writers who didn't quite know what to make of the snuffing chuffing, fire-eating locomotives they saw, often reached for satanic imagery. Others feared not the machine itself, but the change that it brought. Quote, it annihilated space and time. Indeed, the train brought the ability to travel distance, and brought the ability to travel that distance in near to no time. The internet is seen as the great cornerstone of our era, but it is nothing more than an electric train of Dana, uniting us just as did mechanical trains, allowing us and our data to travel distance in near to no time, just as they did. So the story of trains is not one of machines, not one of steam and of diesel, of wooden ties and of metal rails. It's not one of clanging bells and of whistles, of timetables and of stations. Rather, it's a story of people interacting with each other, interacting with nature, and interacting with themselves. It's a story of history being written and our future being decided. So if you like people, you like history, you like the juicy meat of a good story, look what I found. I think you'll like this book.